Okay, so we had looked at uh, cherry picking commits, and one thing I was not too sure about was how do I cherry pick multiple commits? Because I don't typically do that, um, but I wanted to show you guys how to do multiple commits because I think it's really important to be able to do that as well. And so um, I just had to look it up real quick, and I was like, I know like we looked at how to do multiple commits trying to use a form of like this where we do uh, cherry pick the commit and then you have a dash B but actually what we need to do and we'll delete these from here if you just do um, a and then space and B it just separately does a and B but if you want to do the commits from one group to another let's say we're gonna do these commits right here so what I do is I first one and say okay I want to do this commit whoops I want to do this commit it's giving me some problems here all right so let me let me type this in so I want to do get cherry pick and then I want to do let's say this uh, we'll do this 9 B4 F 889 and then instead of using a space or a dash to do multiple commits all the ones in between you do dot dot so I want to do 9 B4 F 889 and then dot dot and I'm gonna do this uh, this one right here this 5 delta one or yeah, five delta right here. So five delta uh, one bravo uh, zero seven five. So I want to do commit A all the way through B, and so then when I hit that, um, now it gave me some errors because there's some conflicts, and so now because I did them all together, I have to resolve the conflict before I can move on and do anything else and so uh, if we check our get status we'll see all these um, changes but it's like you either need to fix the conflicts and then run get cherry pick continue or get cherry pick abort and that's why I like to do them one at a time is because right now we have this conflict um, and now I have to figure out which one of these one, two, three, four, five commits that I just added all together, which one is the problem. Uh, you know, which one's the problem child that's giving me the error. Because notice in the answer here, it can't do this one through this one because could not apply this one. Now it does help you by telling you which one to go look which is good um, but if you have multiples to go look at and sometimes you have a cascading effect like if this one is wrong then this one can't be wrong or can't be done and this one can't be done and this one can't be done because that one is wrong so it seems like okay well it told you which one to go look at you can go look at that particular one and so we'll just open this up in a new window whoops I just opened up the guy instead of what I really wanted So it says, okay, essentially it's deleting all these files, deleting all these files, deleting all these files, deleting all these files. Um, and there's some problem with why it can't delete these files right here. So notice that it kept a bunch of stuff but removed a bunch of stuff as well and so now you'll have to go through all of these files to figure out where the problem was of what was deleted or not and some of these are just actually completely removed so those are pretty easy um, to check on so then you'd have to uh, resolve that issue and once you could resolve it, then you can cherry pick continue. So in this case, to resolve it, let's try to resolve it so we can see how we can continue if we did resolve. So this is all in GPS uh, locate LOC API folder DS API. Um, looks like all of them are in here. And so let's try looking 
there first and see what we've got. So a lot of files that were changed here. And I'm just minimizing these so we can scroll through them really quick as we look at this. So with all of these you see um, 16 changed files and so it's in GPS, loc, API, DS API. So we go to our folder and we say um, GPS, lock API, and then you see that there should be a uh, DS API. And notice there is no DS API folder, and so that's causing um, a bit of a uh, problem for us. So what we can do is, uh, since we're like, well, that one's really just not going to work for us at all, so what we could do is we could say, um, we could cherry pick a board, undo all that change that we just did, and now do everything leading up to that commit, so we do this one and this one. Skip that commit since it doesn't apply for us and do the rest of them if we wanted to do it that way as well. Um, so like I said, I typically just do one at a time because for me anyways, I'm not smart enough to be able to pay attention to every little detail and figure everything out sometimes. So it can get really, really confusing, especially once you have multiple commits going and you have multiple things happening at the same time. Uh, I can get confused pretty easy. You're probably smarter than I am and don't have that problem. And you could probably just do the whole range of commits as well. But uh, I like to do them one at a time, see that it changed, see that it went good, and then go ahead and commit that to my tree. And then you can move on and do more more uh, changes. So it's up to you how you want to proceed, but I just wanted to show you that. Um, most of the time I have a very difficult time uh, where you can use the continue option after you fix the conflict. Uh, essentially you have to put it back, you have to put the file to be exactly the way it thinks it should be, so that way it can um, then continue. Uh, so like in the lineage uh, we had in our other video there, we had the lineage uh, Yalabi was CM Yalabi and it wanted to change it to lineage Yalabi, but we had lineage life XL because that's our phone. So you would actually have to change that line to say CM Yalabi and then run git cherry pick continue to have it change it for you to be lineage Yalabi and then I'd have to change it to say life XL. So can be a little bit of a process and a problem when you're doing this across uh, multiple devices and you're just borrowing from someone else's tree but it does give you the option to change the common files and things that uh, that you'd like to change and especially important for kernel because a lot of kernel stuff for the same system on a chip is going to be identical so a uh, really useful way to do that there uh, I'm going to continue uh, hammering this out and hopefully get the uh, Blue Life uh, XL tree updated and then we'll try building it and seeing what happens.